Yo, what's up, guys? So using Flutter, I made another game. Uh, I made another classic arcade game, and this time I made Space Invaders. So basically, I'm going to show you what, what we're going to build. Um, we have these three cushions, like these three barriers. Uh, the spaceship, which is what we, we can control, and just the alien. Okay, you're just basically having a shootout with this alien. Okay, you can notice that uh, when the bullet lands, it's going to um, absorb like a hit. Okay, and same thing to you as well. Um, so uh, the objective of the game is you just going to kill him off before he kills you. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make this using, um, using Flutter code. Okay, I think here you're going to, yeah, you're going to lose a hit. You're gonna lose a hit. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make this using uh, Flutter code. Okay, so let's jump over here to VS Code, and basically I'm just gonna show you the overview of um, how I made this game. Uh, if you want to just check the check out the code and download the code straight away, then the first link in the description. Um, you can go to my website and download the code there. Okay, so you can just download the whole thing. Um, but yeah, if, I'm gonna. Uh, show you here. If you watch the snake video, how I made the snake game in the last one, it's basically the same idea, and it's a very simple idea, which is we have this big grid of a um, bunch of these little squares, okay? And basically, each square has a number attached to it. So the first one here on the top left is zero, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then you just continue on. I put 20 in each row, so once you get to the end, you just start in the next row and then you continue on. So knowing this, each square having a number, we can use this ordinate system to um, sort of think of these as pixels and um, pick which one and which square you want it to light up, right? So we have three things. We have the spaceship, okay, which is the thing we control. We have barriers, which are these three things here and we've got the alien okay so for example like this alien start position I set it to be 30 so I told you that there's 20 in in each row right so there's 20 in the first row and then 10 which is around half that's 30 so um, that's 30 there okay where we, where we start and to get to the next one it's just that number plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on okay so that's how uh, we can set up these um, these objects. Okay, so right now it's not doing anything. Uh, when we hit start game, we want first of all we want the alien to just start moving. Okay, so if we save this, I've got a, I've got the timer on to be seven hundred milliseconds, which basically just represents the speed of um, the movement. So every seven hundred milliseconds, we're going to update the movement. Okay, so how does this movement work? Well, every 700 milliseconds, we're gonna call this function alien moves, and then in in alien moves, okay, we're gonna start off with the initial direction of just going left when we begin. Okay, and basically, um, we're gonna go through each number, and then if we're going left, we're just adding, oh sorry, we're just subtracting one, right? So. Uh, if the direction is right, we're going to plus one, and if it's left, then we're going to subtract one. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So that's just with the alien moving. Okay, now we want our ship to move as well. And basically, we've got these two functions, so move left and move right. So when we press this left, we want to uh, basically do the same thing. So we're going to go through spaceship which is the position of um, the integer position of our, of our spaceship and we're going to go through each of those numbers and we're going to subtract one okay so that uh, functions is moving left okay if we add one to every single number then the whole thing is going to shift right okay so let's just save this and hopefully that works so let's hit play and yeah, so we can move as well freely. Okay, now one of the last things we need to do is we need to start uh, making this a little bit more uh, violent. <laughs> like we have to start shooting each other. 
Okay, now the alien, we, we just want it to shoot automatically. And for us, we want to shoot every time we hit this uh, fire button in the middle. Okay, so if we come down here, first of all, we've got these two things. So player missile shot and alien missile shot. Okay, so first of all, uh, looking at player missile shot, which is for this spaceship on the bottom, uh, we're going to say, okay, let's set the the missile, this red thing, to be just the first element, okay? So that when this dies later on, uh, and this gets removed, then we're just going to pick the first one of whatever's left over, okay? And for this, I've set it for uh, every for 50 milliseconds, so that's noticeably quicker than our movement, obviously, since it's a bullet. Um, and the movement, in this case, since we once we shoot, we're going upwards, um, going up would be subtracting 20. Okay, so since there's 20 in each row, if I subtract 20, then I'm going to go to the same position but in the above row, and so on. Right? Um, and let's just see if that one works. Let's do that one at a time. Whoops. Yeah. Well, oh, that was a big lag spike. Yeah, well maybe that will fix, the lag will fix itself, but yeah, so we've got the bullet going up there, and we also want the alien as well, right? So alien missile, so I've got this here, okay, so this alien is going downwards, so we're going to add 20 to everything, okay, and yeah, and the last one is updating damage. So if we save this, so yeah, you can see the alien is going to start shooting. Now notice this bullet is just going right through us, right? It's just going right through everything. So we want it to, once it hits something, we want it to, first of all, go away. And we also want it to destroy the, the point at which it made contact with. Okay, so that's this last me method here. So update, update damage. Okay, so basically, for this guy, um, I've got a lot of these conditions. So if I just go over a couple of them. So first of all, if the alien, I'm oh sorry, if the missile is to hit um, any of the white spots that we have, then like let's say the green at some point hits it. And that means at that particular point, um, it will contain the same indice, right? So in our spaceship, we have these uh, integers. Okay, so if, if at any point our missile, this green missile, is any of these numbers, then that means it made contact, right? So if that's the case, then we can um, just remove it from our list. Okay, so that will create the notion of destroying it. Okay, and then we're just going to continue that cycle. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's see if this will start destroying us. So there you go. Once you hit it, you want... Let's, if it hits us, then we're going to die. And I think we can start hitting it now as well. <laughs> and yeah, and that's basically the game. So knowing this, this is only like... How long is it? It's only like a few hundred lines of code. So knowing this, you can really use your creativity and make whatever game you want, really. Um, yeah, it would be cool to see what games you guys can make as well using Flutter. Uh, like I said, you can download my code for this, the entire thing, in uh, on my website. The first thing in the link in the description. Okay. Um, and also just follow me on Instagram. Okay. And where I just post daily updates. So after, after the Space Invaders, now that this is over, now I'm going to start making Tetris. Okay, so subscribe, okay? I'm going to show you this Tetris in the next video. Cool, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters.